Now, I've done some research, and from what I've read, I found out that one of the most stressful jobs in Britain isn't being a high-flying banker or top businessman, but actually working in a call centre. So, I'm going to go and work in... I've got a job for the day, working at an AA call centre in Oldbury. I've got my training programme, which has got all the stuff I need to know. Office standards. Coats are not allowed on the back of chairs. Oh, I'm going to hate this. No swearing. No shouting. No feet on chairs. Shut up. See? I'm stressed already. I'm st I know. Call centres are the fastest growing industry in the UK, employing around three quarters of a million people. And that's set to rise to a million by 2007. So what are the factors that make this job so stressful? And are they just specific to call centres? I want to find out. Nervous. I am nervous. I am genuinely nervous. I've got... I hate starting new jobs. You big girl. Thank you. It's nice to have the encouragement of your colleagues. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Ian Boy. Hello, Major Operations. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. I know, I'm sorry. 25 minutes late? Yeah, not, not the best start. First day? Yeah, I know. This is Becky. Hello, Becky. Hi, I'm Becky. Richard. Hi, Richard. Hi, Richard. Sure, right. Be nice to meet Becky. I will do. Well, okay. I might do. Oh, great. Thank you. OK. Yeah. I'll pick up later with your training. Thank you. Just remember, when you walk onto my Thank operations you. floor, you inherit right. a proud tradition. OK. I expect you to uphold it. Thank, Thank you. You'll hear it come through. It'd be like a short dialing time within a couple of hours. We're hoping that you can actually do this and work through this. Send yeah. members' contact, telephone number, his address. Yeah. Once we're it's happy with it, go in there. Now, at this point, we're ready to send the job in. Becky tells me that as a call handler, I'll be expected to meet performance targets and my work will be under surveillance. I'm beginning to see why this could be a stressful job. How long have I been training for? I've been training for one hour, 40 minutes. How long do you do this in usually? Uh, 96 hours. OK. And I'm going to be going live in... 20 minutes. Right. Heartbeat. You can probably hear it on my microphone. Oh, can't open the door. You will change my mind. I'm properly scared. Change my mind, change my mind. I'm about to do my first call, or go live, as they call it, and if I'm brutally honest, <coughs> I don't really want to. Oh, just get it over with. Somebody ring. I can't stand the waiting. This is terrible. AA Emergency Service. Good afternoon, AA Emergency Service. How can I help you? OK, I'm sure we can provide that for you. You're talking to Richard. Can I ask your surname? I can hardly hear you, Richard. Is that any better? Can That's I ask... better, thank you. Can I ask your surname? It's Kid, K-I-double-D. K-I-double-D, -D. OK. I'm struggling to hear you again. I think it might be a problem at your end. I think everything should be OK at this end. Do you have a second form of identification as well as your membership? Yes. Excellent. I, wait. Yes, I can tell you that we are experiencing quite a high volume of calls in that end. I suppose the thing with this, I don't know what's coming up next. I'm in the hands, really, of whoever calls next. I am getting a sort of lower back pain that I do get when I know I'm stressed. That's always a sign that I'm feeling the pressure. To add to my stress, my calls are being monitored by that big, important-looking bloke in a suit. What's going wrong? If we can talk about the problem. Hello. Hello. Uh, my car um, won't start. Matt, the only problem we've got with his last call is it took him over 12 minutes. <laughs> if it continues to be like that, we're going to have, have a chat. I could do with a break. What, what's the problem? Why aren't we taking calls? Oh, no, I am. I'm available. I was a long time on that one. Yeah, it was over 12 minutes. Yeah. Okay, no problem. But normally you're supposed to be up to three calls in that time, not just one. That doesn't help my stress. I'm beginning to learn what factors could be at the bottom of my slowly rising stress levels. Lots of responsibility, but no control over what I'll have to deal with next. And that's something that could be true of any office job, not just a call handler. And what's concerning me now is after a day of that, my back aches, my head's starting to ache, I'm actually got a, 
rather unpleasant film of sweat over me, and that's all from stress. What's the cumulative effect of that going to be?